personalized medicine is a concept which tries to provide the right treatment to the right person. Nowadays, doctors working in the clinical field have an access to a great quantity of treatments. The problem is to adapt these treatments to the needs of patients. There is a gap between the drug approval procedure and the implementation of new treatment in the clinical field. To understand if a new treatment works, you have to compare this treatment with existing treatments. You have to adapt a new treatment with uh, the health condition of patients. You have to try to reduce the dosage of the treatment in order to reduce the potential side effects. You have to explore and analyze the new treatment utilization in terms of survival of patients. The development of a new health treatment is a complex and costly process that follows an extensive set of guidelines. Applicants have to provide evidence of safety, quality and efficacy of their product, evidence that come in principle from clinical trials. Once approved, each member state decides in which way to use the new treatment, fixing the price, fixing the reimbursing condition, and uh, defining the clinical applications. There is a research gap nowadays between the pre-approval authorization process and the utilization of treatment in the real-life conditions. With the treatment optimization, we refer to an approach which tries to improve the use of new treatments through studies carried out in real-world conditions. Treatment optimization not replaces the current clinical research framework. Instead, it aims to generate results which complement the evidence developed by clinical trials. I think that a concrete measure in order to go ahead from this condition is to provide at the EU level substantial funding research for treatment optimizations to permit to clinicians to test different drugs in different uh, health conditions. The problem is related to the legislative process which regulates the drug development process in Europe. The drug development process in Europe is regulated by rules at the EU level and the rules at the national levels. The combination of these two approaches is difficult and requires a political effort.